Assalamu alaikum. This is Uzafa Saleh and welcome to my channel. Have you checked my other channel? If no, go and check it out. So what we are going to learn today? It is a type of break called simple band break. My name is Kathy. I'm 22 years old. I graduated as a qualified teacher. This is a diagram of the simple band break. This is a band which is connected to the liver. This is shaft on which a wheel is mounted and band is wrapped around the wheel. Wheel and shaft are connected by means of a key. This is the contact angle of band and wheel denoted by theta. T1 and T2 are the tensions in the band. As the pulley is rotating clockwise, so this side is tight side and this is slack side. It means T1 is greater than T2. Always T1 is for tight side and T2 is for loose side tension. B is distance between the pivot point O and capital B point. Small L is the length of the lever. P is the external force to apply the brake. P is a pull force. When we apply P, the position of the lever will be like this and band will grab the wheel and offer frictional resistance to its rotation. In this brake, the braking force is equal to T1 minus T2, tension in tight side minus tension in slack side, and braking torque is equal to the braking force into radius of the pulley or wheel or whatever you have in your case. Ratio between tensions can be found by this relation. In it, mu is coefficient of friction between bands and wheels material, and theta is lap angle or contact angle. Maximum tension can be found by this relation. T max or T1 is equal to tensile stress into area of band. W is width of band. T is thickness of band. Now it's time to solve a problem. Read and gather data from the problem statement. This end of the band is fastened to the fixed end of the lever which is pivot point O. This is lever arm and distance between O and capital B is 125 mm. Lever length is 720 mm. Problem says that 
the bisecting line of contact angle is perpendicular to the liver. This is power. In A part, we have to find the pull force. And in B part, we have to find the band width while thickness and tensile stress is given. Due to drum's rotation, this side would be tight and this side would be slack. First thing first, the direction of pull force. When we pull the lever upward, the band will grab the drum and it would be not possible in case of pulling the lever downward. So the applied force would be upward. First find out tensions. In question, theta is in a degree, but in relation, it would be used in radian. We have tensions ratio. Now apply power formula. From it, we will find Tb, which is breaking torque, power, and RPMs are given. We also know that for simple band break, Tb is equal to T1 minus T2 into R. Tb and R are known. So we have T1 minus T2 is equal to 557 Newton. We have calculated T1 over T2 earlier. So T1 is equal to 3.25 T2. Substitute this value in above relation. And we have T2. Use this value to find T1. Next, taking moment about O, we will point. Pull force multiplied by distance. Now for T2 force, as T2 is slack side, so its direction would be in opposite of the direction of the drum's rotation. Pull's moment is in anti-clockwise and moment due to T2 is in clockwise direction. Let me draw the system again. With T2 force, the distance would be OD. Now find OD. In this triangle, 45 is equal to OE divided by OD. And from figure, E is half of the OB or 125 millimeter. Now we have OD. Moment due to T1 is 0 because it is passing through the pivot point O. By simplifying, we have pull value. Next we have to find the width of the band. First apply stress formula. From here we will find area which is width into thickness. and maximum tension is equal to T1. So solving it, we have value of B. 